Hello guys, welcome to Disha study. In this session, we are going to do 30 previous questions from the physical geography which asked in the previous SSC examination conducted from 2010 onwards to 2023. And this is the seventh part of this series and the link of this series playlist given in the description box. So let us start with the question. First is, what is the name of the zone where trade winds converse? A option is forest zone, B is intra-terrestrial zone, C option is intercontinental convergence zone, and D option is intertropical convergence zone. Right answer is option D, that is intertropical convergence zone. Next is, Death Valley is a desert valley in the black. That is the hottest and the driest place with a world record highest air temperature of 134 degree Fahrenheit. A option is Mojave, Desert of California. B option is Atacama Desert of Chile. C option is Lute Desert of Africa. And D option is Sahara Desert of Africa. Right answer is the option A that is Mojave Desert of California. Next question is According to the Koppen's climate classification scheme, dry climates are subdivided using the capital letter S for semi arid region or steep and W for blank region. A option is highland, B option is desert, C option is winter dry, and D option is the wet region. So the uh, capital letter W denotes the desert region according to the Koppen's climate classification scheme. Next question is. Okay, यहाँ पर जो है according to the open climate classification जो कौन सा letter जो है कौन से reason को denote किया है वो यहाँ पर mention किया हुआ है आप इसको chart को देख सकते हो. Next question is all changes in the weather of the earth are caused by the blank. Your A option is altitude, B option is tides, C option is sun and D is moon. Right answer is the option C that is sun. Next question is which of the following codes dignify the cold climate with dry winters according to the open climate classification which we have previous question. Kiya. So, here the codes are given, you can see it. That is A option is EF, hai, B option is the DF, C option is the, uh, both uh, E, capital letter both E and T and the D option is D, small v, W. So, right answer is option D, that is capital D and the small W. Next question is which group of the Koppen climate classification system represented by letter code capital letter A and the small letter W sometimes called the savanna climate is located just outside the intertropical climate zone near the equator. A option is Mediterranean climates, B option is marine west coast climate, C option is tropical wet and dry climate and D option is humid subtropical climates. और ये सभी क्वेश्चन जो है कोपन क्लाइमेट क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम के जो है 2022 में एसएससी के एग्जाम में पूछे गए हैं और इस इसका राइट आंसर आएगा ऑप्शन सी दैट इज ट्रॉपिकल वेट एंड ड्राई क्लाइमेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ टेंपरेट टेंपरेट मरीन क्लाइमेट विद सबस्टेंशियल रेनफॉल इन ऑल सीजंस ए ऑप्शन इज ए कैपिटल लेटर ए एंड स्मॉल एम आप इसी तरह बाकी जो है ऑप्शंस को भी देख लीजिए तो इसका जो राइट right आंसर आएगा वो आएगा ऑप्शन डी दैट इज कैपिटल सी स्मॉल लेटर एफ एंड द स्मॉल लेटर पी दिस कोड डिनोट्स द टेंपरेट मरीन क्लाइमेट विद सबस्टेंशियल रेनफॉल इन ऑल द सीजंस अकॉर्डिंग टू द कोपन क्लाइमेट क्लासिफिकेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एल नीनो इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेदर सिस्टम दैट अपीयर्स वंस every 3 to blank years bringing drought floods and other weather extremes to different parts of the world your A option is 7, B option is 9, C option is 4 years and D option is 6 years. So the right answer is a option A that is El Nino is a uh, weather system that appears once every 3 to 7 years. Next is blank is concerned with constructing records of past climates and climatic events by analysis of tree growth characteristics especially growth rings. A option is bioclimatology, B option is historical climatology, C option is geoclimatology and D option is dendroclimatology. So right answer is option D that is dendroclimatology. Next is blank is defined as the temperature to which the air would have to cool in order to reach the saturation. 
A option is dew point temperature, B option is air temperature, C option is relative humidity and D option is surface temperature. The right answer is option A that is dew point temperature. Next question is which of the following is commonly referred to as ozone hole? A option is lithosphere, B is troposphere, C option is biosphere and D option is stratosphere. Right answer is option B, stratosphere. Next is, the blank lies above the mesopause and is a region in which temperatures increases with the height. A option is stratosphere, B is exosphere, C option is thermosphere and D is troposphere. So, mesopause lies above the thermosphere layer of the atmosphere. So, option C is the right answer. Next question is, uh, decreases in which of the following factors lead to an increase in the rate of evaporation? Your A option is ambient temperature, B option is humidity, C option is area of the free surface of the liquid concerned, and D is wind speed above the surface of the liquid. So the right answer is the option B, that is humidity. Next question is, El Nino gulfs in which of these oceans? A option is Arctic Ocean, B is Indian Ocean, C option is the Atlantic Ocean and D option is the Pacific Ocean. Right answer is the option D, Pacific Ocean. Next question is which of the following climate type is found under the cold climates? Your A option is humid subtropical, B option is highlands, C option is humid continental and D option is tundra. Right answer is option D, that is tundra. Next question is polar easterlies are which kind of winds? A option is a seasonal winds, B option is permanent winds, C option is sea winds and D option is local winds. Right answer is the option B, that is permanent winds. And polar easterlies are the dry and cold winds. Next is blank are a narrow belt of high altitude westerly winds in the troposphere. Their speed varies from about 110 km per hour in summer to about 184 km per hour in the winter. A option is jet streams, B option is whirlwind, C option is derecho and D option is hurricane. The right answer is option A that is jet streams. Next question is what happens at the intertropical convergence zone? A option is the southwest and the northwest trade winds converse. B option is the southwest and northwest trade winds diverse. C option is the southeast and northeast trade winds converse. And D option is the southeast and northwest trade winds converse. So right answer is the option C that is at the intertropical convergence zone, the southeast and the northeast trade winds converse. Next question is where does hydrarch succession take place? A option is semi-arid areas, B is grasslands, C option is wet areas and D option is the dry areas. The right answer is option C that is wet areas. Next question is following statements are made regarding global warming. Here are two statements about the global warming. So the first statement is the Global warming is the long-term heating of Earth's surface observed since the pre-industrial period due to human activities, primarily fossil fuel burning, which increases heat trapping greenhouse gas levels in the Earth's atmosphere. And second statement is global warming causes climate change which poses a serious threat to life on the Earth in the forms of widespread flooding and the extreme weather. So here are the four codes. So the correct one is the option C. That is both these statements are true regarding the global warming. So the next question is, sea breeze is formed during the A option is daytime, B option is nighttime, C option is both and D e is seasonal. The right answer is option A that is during the daytime. Next question is, sea water is saltier than the rainwater because a option is rivers washes away salts from the earth and pour them into the sea. B option is sea beds have salts producing. Uh, C option is the sea animals are salt producing. And D option is the air around the sea is saltish. 
so the reason for that is river wa washing away the salts from the earth and pour them into the sea so that's why sea water is saltier than the rain water next question is the sargasso sea is situated in the a option is the atlantic ocean b is pacific ocean c option is indian ocean and d is arctic ocean so right answer is the option a that is atlantic ocean next question is nip tides are a option is strong b option is weak c option is medium and d is very strong right answer is option b that is weak next question is the largest current because of its dark waters is known as a black current and that is a option is the gulf stream b option is crossio current c option is california current and d option is the antarctic current right answer is the option b that is crossio current aur is current ko japan current bhi kaha jata hai now the next question is carigenous deposits are found in a option is the deep sea plain b option is the ocean trenches c option is rift valleys and d option is continental shelf and slopes so the right answer is option d that is continental shelf and slopes next question is which of the following sea has highest salinity a option is red sea b is black sea c option is dead sea and d is the arabian sea the right answer is option c dead sea next is what is called the coastal part of water bodies of the ocean which is structurally part of the mainland of the continents a option is continental rise b option is continental plains c option is continental shelf and d is continental slope right answer is option c continental shelf next question is near coastal areas temperature on land in the night time gets reduced due to the a option is land breeze b option is sea breeze c option is both land and sea breeze and d option is partially a uh, populated coast right answer is option a that is due to land breeze next question is which of the following water current is not a cold current a option is humboldt current b option is brazil c option is oeshio current and d option is a canary current so the right answer is the option b that is brazil current so that's it guys i hope that you love the content so please like the video and for more videos please visit the description box and stay tuned with this channel we will meet soon in the next session till then bye bye and take care